Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to talk about value changes and status changes event in an Angular form. The value changes is an event which is raised by Angular form whenever the value of the form control, form group or form array changes. Let's understand this with an example. So in this form, we have these form controls. Now, if the value in any of these form control changes, the value changes event is raised. So for example, here we have this first name form control. Now inside this first name form control, whenever the value changes, the value changes event is raised. And when that event is raised, we can listen to that event and then we can execute some logic. Let's understand this practically. So let's go back to VS code and let's go to app component class. And here inside this ng on init method, what we want is we want to listen these to the value changes event on the first name form control. Okay, so the first thing which we need to do is we need to get access to that first name form control. So on this reactive form form group, we have a get method. To this get method, we can pass the name of the form control. So here we want to get access to this first name form control. And this first name form control is present inside this personal details form group. So here we need to pass personal details dot first name. Okay, so in this way, we have access to the first name form control. Now on this form control, we can listen to value changes event. Now this value changes event is going to return an observable. All right, and we can subscribe to that observable. Now to this subscribe method, we can pass a callback function. And this callback function is going to receive some value, the value emitted by the observable. And we simply want to log that value. Okay, now what value we are going to receive in this value parameter? The value which the user will enter in the first name form control. Let's see that. Let's save the changes here. Let's go back to the web page. Here, let's open developer console let's clear everything and now you will notice that whenever i enter something in this form control that value will get logged in this developer console okay so as you can see whenever i type something that value is getting logged in this console that means whenever the value in this form control is changing the value changes event is raised now here we are listening to value changes event of this first name form control but we can also listen to value changes event of a form group so for example here this reactive form is a form group right so we can listen to this value changes event on this form group in that case whenever the value in any form control in that form group will change the value changes event will be raised let's see that let me go ahead and comment this and now let's listen to the value changes event on this reactive form form group okay so this reactive form has this value changes event let's go ahead and subscribe to it to this subscribe method let's pass a callback function and this callback function will be executed every time this value changes observable will emit a new value now inside this i simply want to log the value emitted by the observable this value changes event in the console Okay, and we are going to receive this value as an argument for this callback function. All right, let's save the changes again. Let's go back to the web page. And now you will notice that whenever the value in any one of these form control changes, the value changes event will be raised and that value will be logged in the console. So here, let's say I enter something. So you will notice that an object is being logged here. And if I expand this object, this object contains all the controls which we have inside this form group and whichever controls value has changed that value is assigned here to this property name okay now if i go ahead and change something in the last name form control then also this object will be logged okay if i go ahead and select some hobbies here you will notice that in that case also this object is being logged here okay so this is what value changes event is Value changes is an event which is raised by Angular form whenever the value of the form control, form group 
of former changes and it returns an observable and we can subscribe to that observable all right now let's talk about status changes event so basically every form control is going to have a status either that form control is going to be valid invalid or pending right so for example this first name is a required form control now if we don't enter anything in this first name in that case this form control is invalid but if we enter some proper value let's say john in that case this form control is valid in the same way we have this form group inside which we have these form controls so if any one form control is invalid in that case the entire form group will be invalid and if all the form controls are valid in that case the entire form group will be valid so the status changes event is raised by angular forms whenever the angular calculates the validation status of a form control form group or form array let's understand this practically so what i'm going to do is i am going to listen for status changes event on the form group level so this reactive form property is of type form group right this reactive form is of type form group on this we want to listen to status changes event and again this status change is going to return an observable as you can see so let's go ahead and let's subscribe to that observable and to this subscribe method let's pass a callback function and this callback function will receive the value emitted by this status changes observable as its argument so let's again call it value and let's go ahead and let's simply log that value in the console okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page let's clear everything so currently no status has been logged here in the console now if i go ahead and if i enter something let's say j you will notice that when i enter a value in a form control in this form group it has returned the status of that form group so currently it is invalid let me enter john here okay it is still invalid that's because in this form we have this first name last name email and this skills form control as the required form controls so in order to make this form valid in these form controls we need to enter valid values okay so let's enter some value in this last name let's also select some proper value for this email field and now you can see it is in pending state because this value will be validated after 5 seconds and for that 5 seconds this form will be in pending state okay so as you can see again it is in pending state and after 5 seconds when this value will be validated the form group will be either in valid or invalid state okay so currently it is invalid now if i go ahead and enter some skill here let's say sql now you will notice that now it is in valid state the form is in valid state so the status changes event is raised every time we enter some value in a form control and it returns the status of the form control form group or form array in our example it is returning the status of the form group so this form group this reactive form form group all right now let's understand a use case of this value changes and status changes event so what we want is whenever this form is invalid in that case we want to show a red border around this form and when this form is in pending state we want to display a yellow border around this form and when this form is valid we want to display a green border around this form to do that what i'm going to do is on this div i'm going to add a new class let's call it maybe my form and then i want to create a new property inside this app component class and let's call this property maybe form status okay and here inside this method let's set that form status to this value okay so here the value is either going to be valid invalid or pending so that value we want to assign to this form status property now let's go ahead and let's use this form status property and let's bind it to ng class directive so here 
let's use this ng class directive and to this ng class directive we want to bind this form status property so here based on the value which is assigned to this form status property a new class will be added to this div if the value of form status is valid in that case a new css class called valid will be added to this div if the value of this form status is invalid in that case the new css class invalid will be added to this div and if it is pending in that case the css class pending will be added to this div and based on that css class we want to display a border around the form so let's open app component.css and here we want to write some css to display a border around the form now in order to save some time i have already written that css so let me copy it from here and let's go ahead and let's paste it here with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page so currently we don't have any state for this form now let's go ahead and let's enter some value okay so currently this form is in invalid state so we can see the red border around this form okay so let me enter john here let's enter smith here let's select an email id so maybe abc at example.com and now this form is in pending state and when it is in pending state it is displaying this yellow border around that form okay and after five seconds it is again in invalid state because here we also need to provide a value for this skill control because this skill form control is also a required field so let's enter some value here maybe sql okay and now this form is valid and when it is valid it is displaying a green border around that form so i hope with this example the use of value changes and status changes event is clear to you if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day